Here are the three most common mistakes that I see enterprises make when doing cloud deployments. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the Cloud Insider, where you hear about the reality of cloud computing and the expanding use of generative AI. I'm your host, David Lending. I'm author, speaker, cloud computing thought leader, tech exec, and be less geek. Let's start the discussion. So if you follow my InfoWorld uh, writing, I do a lot of uh, you know top three mistakes, top five mistakes, um, because people like those kinds of lists. Uh, and um, really kind of focusing on also helping them in terms of avoiding making common mistakes that others are making. So um, the idea of that you're, you're reading my blog or listening to this video, and you hear about a common mistake that others are making, chances are maybe you'll think twice about making that mistake. So let's go through them. So the first most common mistake that I see is lack of a holistic strategy and teaching everybody about the strategy. You have to remember cloud computing is a tactical thing where we're solving a problem using technology and it's not everything that is IT in a normal enterprise. So you need to understand strategically where your cloud deployment fits within everything else that's going on within IT and everything that's going on within the business. And that's often a question that people can't answer, which is, which is odd to me. So I know that I'm deploying things in cloud because I'm going to add a layer of innovation that's going to make the business more valuable. And we're going to do that uh, through the deployment and solving of these particular business problems, which is core to the strategy and mission of the business. And it, it sounds complicated, but really it's not. And your ability to kind of put a line in the sand as to what you do, why this exists, and how it fits into a strategic framework that is your enterprise IT strategy is something that you need to define, leadership needs to define typically, but also teach everybody in the organization about that strategy and about how their role fits into working on the strategy. So everything that happens, deploying cloud-based systems, databases, AI-based systems, a lot of that's going on right now, should fit into a larger meta framework that is the IT architecture, the IT strategy, and how the business is going to leverage technology as a true, true force multiplier for the business. So they're going to build on innovation, strategies for innovation, strategies to increase sales. All these things really should be known, defined, and understood. And without that, you have the void that people don't know how to feel. And so, so they uh, basically wander aimlessly in terms of what they're doing in, within the cloud deployment, don't understand how their work fits into the larger strategy. Uh, and then they focus on tactics and not focusing on the business problem. And that's something that you don't want them to do. And ultimately ends up in under-optimized systems that miss the mark, uh, don't solve the business problems that we're looking to solve. And that's something that, that's a place that you don't want to be. Keep that in mind. Next would be focusing too much on a specific technology and not the business problems you're attempting to solve. This is an old one and it's been uh, a problem since IT first began. And that's because we have a tendency to focus on the shiny objects, uh, the net new technology, what it does, the coolness of it, and the ability to leverage it within your job framework uh, to you know, hopefully take the business to the next level. So in many instances, when I consulting with a project, they'll tell me that this is a cloud native uh, project. This is the AWS project or the Google project or the Microsoft project. And they really have no understanding yet of the problems they're looking to solve. They're just focusing on the particular technology or even a subset of the technology, such as generative AI, specific services, things like that, that they believe is going to solve the problem that they have yet to understand. So uh, that's obviously the backward way of doing it. So the, you have to do kind of the boring bummer stuff up front and understand the business requirements, understand the business problems you're looking to solve define it uh, to enough detail so we can create an architecture, create a framework, and then, then select the enabling technology, the physical architecture, to back into the solution. And while this seems fairly common sense, I see this as probably the most common mistake that organizations are making. And in many instances, it's probably a leadership issue where they're not asking the right questions 
And it's probably incentives uh, around leveraging a particular technology, whether you've, they've created a partnership or uh, you have a pre-existing relationship with them or you've just come back from the conference, that's leading to people just focusing too much on what that solution is, the coolness of it, which I, I understand why, uh, and not your ability to, in essence, solve the business problems and, and do what an IT should be doing, the ability to create as much value as you possibly can. So the ability to create a solution that's as optimized as it can be, so it maximizes the return of value back to the business with a minimum amount of investment. And that's why we exist. And so our ability to do that is really the core metrics as to whether or not we succeed or not. And if you come into these problems and you're focusing too much on the technology, Normally, these mistakes are going to be made, and you're building things like technical debt, you're building things like inefficiency, certainly under optimization, which means the end state of your solution may work. Nice. However, it may work uh, and also cost five times to operate, uh, five times the cost to operate you know, over the same period of time with some other techno technological solution that is optimized. So this under-optimization of solutions, the inability to look at the business problem, make sure you're backing the technology to solve the problem, really needs to change. We have to change our mindsets on this. And actually, in the last 30 years, it's gotten worse, where uh, you know people focused on analysis and design you know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, um, a lot. And uh, we even had uh, you know uh, paralysis by analysis. The lack of uh, that now um, and the inability to define the business problems is something that I think most enterprises are missing. That doesn't mean you overthink it, and that doesn't mean you do have um, uh, paralysis by analysis, you too much work up front, but just take the time to break the problem domain down into enough detail so you can pick the piece parts out understand the business problems you're looking to solve, define the logical applications and systems you're going to build, and then the physical instances of hardware that need, you need to back into that framework. Anyway, enough said about that. Don't make that mistake. And finally, the third one is lack of cost metrics and how you'll declare success. So, this is very much related to the lack of a holistic strategy and also focusing too much on the technology. We don't have a framework to understand the value that we're supposed to be creating. And by doing that, um, we don't know when we're going to get to a successful end state. So the first thing you need to do when you're defining the business problems you're looking to solve with cloud computing or another, other technology for that matter, um, this is cross technologies. You, you need to set up a framework so we know how we're defining the value of the technology, the cloud deployment that you're building. And so the value is normally get defined in different ways. It could be we're building this thing to create something that's going to provide an innovative differentiator for the business, um, which is different than something that's just to increase sales or something that's just going to increase um, inbound leads uh, via the website. Um, so we have the larger business problems are looking to solve, which comes down to an agreement in terms of how we're going to measure the value metrics uh, that need to be defined by the business. In other words, if we're investing this money in our cloud deployment, how are we measuring the value of that deployment? And then how are we figuring out the ability to hit that value with something that's as optimized as it possibly can be? So. Uh, without that, we're kind of shooting in the dark. We, we don't know and don't have the metrics to look at the numbers and therefore don't understand when we are at a uh, something that is an optimized solution because we don't know what that looks like. So uh, the optimized solution is going to be different for an innovative differentiator, you know, basically building net new systems to create something in the market that doesn't exist or the ability to do something more tactical, just uh, increase sales, uh, have better inventory control, uh, better supply chain management, and then define what that means in terms of cost metrics, which defines the value metrics, which is gonna come back to the business. Uh, 
absolutely insist on this if you don't have it, because you don't know what you're hitting and you don't know if you're getting to the particular specific goals. And it's something that's normally lacking. And I think it's something that's uh, a common mistake that I don't think that we need to be making. What's kind of common about all these things I'm mentioning here, they're fairly easy to solve. They don't take a lot of time. Uh, it does take leadership and an understanding and the ability to engage the right resources, but there's nothing I'm saying here that's going to take very expensive tools, very expensive people, and it's very easy to fix if you're just willing to put the effort in to fix it. So anyway, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also check out my book, check out my blog, check out my other videos. I got a few out there now, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.